Hey everyone, welcome back to the Clueless Dad. We have another car seat review. This is the Chico Next Fit convertible car seat, and uh, it retails for about $300. I got it in the US uh, during our recent trip, and I actually use it on a second US trip that we did, and I wanted to share my impressions with you guys. So it is not a small car seat. It's pretty hefty, weighs 25 pounds. That's, I think, 12 kilos, give or take. Um, so definitely not super lightweight, but it is sturdy. And it can do front facing and rear facing like lots of popular car seats, which is why they call it convertible. It also has a adjustable base, so you can change the angle. It has a nice level meter here, so you can make sure that it is properly set. It also has an adjustable headrest, which as you can see can come up quite far. So uh, one of the great things about this car seat is that it has a wide range of usability. So for forward facing, uh, it's good up to, I think, 65 pounds, um, which is a pretty big kid. So I'm guessing, you know, probably through five years old, this could be your car seat. Uh, and on the other end of the spectrum, uh, it can be used rear facing up to 40 pounds. And it can also go down to, I think, in the standard configuration like this, uh, up to uh, from five pounds and up. It's good for kids. Uh, if you have a newborn, there is a separate insert which you can put in as well. That's actually pretty good if you think over the lifetime, you know, over five years or whatever, uh, even at a price of $300, that's actually pretty good value. Um, the question is, does it hold up? and does it stay clean and does it work well. So uh, I can say it does seem to hold up pretty well. So we've used it only for you know, a couple weeks here on and off, but we were literally using it every day, all day driving around. We drove all the way from Denver to San Francisco with it, uh, stopping in national parks over a span of two weeks. So the kid was in here every day, you know, eating, pooping, everything in here and it held up really well. So minor stains from spilled food or whatever, you can just wipe it with a wet paper towel. Seems to do pretty well. Uh, apparently this whole thing can come off, although it is a bit of a pain. Then pull the headrest fabric forward to remove. Unsnap the seat bottom panel, then pull the seat padding away from the harness release button. Now carefully pull the seat padding away from the child restraint. To reinstall the padding, repeat the process in reverse, starting by placing the pad over the seat back. So there is a solution for that though. Chico makes another version of the NextFit, which is called the NextFit Zip, uh, which actually has a giant zipper that goes around here. And I uh, will share some footage I took of one in the store. Uh, and that one, basically just the whole seat can zip out relatively easily. So um, you might consider getting that one instead, just because of that. Uh, but either way, you know, we're pretty happy with this thing. It was actually a gift from my friend and uh, it was pretty awesome that he was able to give us uh, not just a car seat, but a really nice car seat. So as far as durability goes, um, it's not just having it in the car, it's also what you do when it's not in the car. So this thing has actually been in the airplane, uh, I don't know, six or seven different flights already um, and it's held up pretty well. There is some nick here on one of the corners, um, but not the end of the world. You could probably just glue that or patch it. Um, and we did get the Chico car seat cover bag, which uh, I will do a separate review of. And I'm actually kind of disappointed with that thing because it's totally got the beat out of it. But, uh, you know, it actually sort of works. So just aside from this Nick, um, you know, the car seat has otherwise looks pr basically brand new despite all those flights. So the main feature I want to share about this guy is the latch system or basically how you connect it to the seat. So this one uses the latch system, which is standard in the US, I think in the last uh, 15 years or so, all cars are required to have it. So this one, unlike my Japan car seat, works with the latch system. So the latch system, if you are not familiar, uh, especially if you're not from the US, it's a standardized set of basically metal hooks that go into every car so that you can connect a car seat to it. So it's the, really the awesomest thing ever uh, for parents because it takes all the hassle of trying to feed a seat belt around this car seat uh, just takes it completely away. So um, in this case, there are compartments which can hold these latch connectors. It's basically like a seatbelt connector, but made specifically go to go to that metal latch point. Um, and uh, in this case, there are these nice storage compartments here, uh, one on each side, and it keeps it out of the way. And of course, this car seat also works with seat belts. So when I went back to the US, uh, one of the cars that we put this in was actually my parents' really old 1980s BMW, which doesn't have a latch system. And so in that case, we had to figure out how to do the seat belts. 
And then there also are these kind of latching uh, hold downs, I guess, that uh, the seat belt can feed through. And so there's one for the rear facing and one for the front facing. And uh, definitely you want to check the instructions to make sure that you're doing this right. So it's nice that this is all pretty well designed and compact and hopefully doesn't break. So it, it worked out well for us. Um, but again, if you have the latch system and you're only putting in cars that are uh, relatively new, you never even need to use these. So for our two minivan rentals, uh, we just stuck with the latch system. Uh, that said, on some cars, the, latch, the latches are actually pretty hard to find. So uh, on our Grand Caravan, no problem. But when we went to Hawaii, we rented this Nissan minivan and the metal hooks were so far down in the uh, middle seats that it actually took me like 10 minutes just to get them uh, to find them and then actually to connect to it properly. But uh, just look for like the little sewn on patch that indicates where they are and just kind of keep shoving it in until it latches. Um, basically, it'll work sooner or later. Also, if you are doing front facing, uh, there's a third latch system, which is this strap, which is hidden in here. Uh, and you can disconnect it and then latch it to the back of the seat or onto the uh, deck behind the seat if it's going to the back seat of a car. So strap wise, it's pretty good. It obviously has a five point harness and there's these nice pads that go on the shoulder straps that you want to make sure are uh, you know, on both sides of the kid's head. There's this connector which basically connects the left and right side together. Uh, and then obviously you have the kind of piece that goes in the middle between your legs. And that one snaps in like this. So when the kid is fully in, it's something like that. Um, and all I can say is that our kid was in the car for quite a while and really didn't chafe or complain um, too much uh, about being in here. The only thing I would add is uh, in the case of our other car seat in Japan, there was a nice kind of fabric back pad on the middle part which sort of helped spread the load if it was on his waist. I kind of wish this one had it, but uh, I guess if the kid's not complaining, uh, probably not needed. Adjusting the straps is actually pretty easy. You just use this orange button and pull on this strap. and uh, you might think it would pull from this middle piece, but it actually doesn't. It pulls from the shoulder straps. So you can just pull it, and it's kind of a, a one-way thing. So if you want to release, you have to push the button down and pull. So that makes adjusting super easy. Um, basically, it's like one touch and a pull, um, which is really good if you have you know, multiple grandkids going to the same seat, or if normally the kid is one size, and then he comes, and the next time he's wearing a really heavy jacket, and you want to loosen it up, uh, you can basically just do this and adjust. So I wish more things had a design that was this simple. You know, if, if my high chair, if my strollers could be this simple, I wouldn't have to keep adjusting all those uh, uh, webbing straps. It would make my life a lot easier. So kudos, Chico. One other design feature that I like about this thing is the fact that it has this. It's a small storage compartment in the bottom, specifically made to keep the instruction books. So especially in our case where we're flying around and we're not using this thing, you know, from our garage but we're basically flying somewhere and then having to put it in the car, uh, having the instruction manual with you at all times is actually pretty handy. So the fact that they thought ahead and put this door here really is helpful for people like me. Um, you know, they have the instructions on here about how to connect it all, but it's not really that clear. It's a little bit confusing. So having the actual book printed on paper, not trying to read it on your phone, looking it up at the airport, but having it just there that you can flip open to page 75 and find the answer to your question about where to fit the seat belt in. Super helpful. So good job again, Chico. Last but not least, let me talk about the weight capacity of this and also the configurations, front facing and rear facing. So as you've seen in my other videos, I'm a big proponent of rear facing seats and I'm really glad that Chico in their instructions emphasizes that you should keep it rear facing as long as possible. So from rear facing, it's rated from five pounds to 40 pounds and uh, there's some important caveats. So first of all, if your baby is maybe premature or very light when he's born and he's less than five pounds, don't put him in here yet. But if he's above five pounds, from five to 10 pounds, they have a newborn insert with some extra pads that you can get to keep him secure. So when we use this, our kid was already say 16 to 18 pounds. So we didn't even have to worry about that. Um, the standard configuration worked just fine. Uh, as far as the upper end of that scale, so it says 40 pounds, but it's key to note that that 40 pounds is for if you're using the seat belts. Uh, the latch system is only rated until 35 pounds. So if your kid is getting bigger and he's 35 pounds, you definitely need to switch to the seat belt, but you can at least use it until he gets up to 40 pounds. And in forward facing, it's rated from 
20 pounds all the way up to 65 pounds. So as I mentioned, you could be you know, four or five years old and still using this as your primary car seat uh, and be totally within the weight range. Um, on the upper end of the scale, they say only use the latch system up to 40 pounds and above 40 pounds, uh, you have to use the seat belt as well. So just keep that in mind. The latch system is great, but for a bigger kid, he definitely needs the strength of the seat belts. One other thing is this actually comes with a cup holder and we actually never used it. It's still in the plastic, but basically it just slips on. There's a little mark here where you can fit it. So it can go right there. So especially for bigger kids, um, it's nice that they can basically have their water right there. So definitely gonna use it next time. Thank you very much to Chico for including this for free. If only Stoke was so wise. They charge $25 for their little plastic add-on to their strollers, which I think is highway robbery. Okay, and last but not least, again, I mentioned this thing is pretty sizable. Um, it's 25 pounds, uh, and it's also not too small. So getting it in and out of the backseat of my two-door uh, Volkswagen New Beetle was kind of a pain, uh, especially considering how heavy it is uh, without scuffing things up. Uh, and then once it was in there, uh, especially because it was in the rear-facing position, so the back seat's here, front seat back is here. Uh, you had to have the front seat so far forward that it was really uncomfortable for anyone sitting in there. But that's more of the function of just having a small car. So for minivans, this was totally fine. For bigger sedans, totally fine. Fit in the back seat of the BMW, no problem. Uh, but just keep that in mind, especially if you're going to be flying around a lot. Um, consider getting a bag that has wheels because it is freaking heavy. Okay, so in conclusion, overall pretty happy with it. I think it is worth the price. Uh, considering the value that you get and the fact that you can use it for so long. Um, latch system is great. The fact that it works with seat belts too, of course, is great. The real proof is the fact that we took this back with us and we're keeping it. Um, you know, the thought originally was that I would either dump this at my friend's place in the U.S. or maybe even just throw it away rather than bring it all the way back to Hong Kong where we have no car. But, uh, you know, the fact that I brought it back and have used it again since that first trip just shows you that uh, I think this one's a keeper. I would recommend you consider getting the zipper version uh, just because it's just maybe a little bit easier to clean and doesn't cost that much more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any good stories about the Chico Next Fit, let us know. If you have any horror stories, please let us know. And do consider checking out our other videos here on The Clueless Dad. See you next time. Bye. Um...